Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am back on F1 2020 where I'm going to be taking part in the race that never was. The Vietnam Grand Prix around the Hanoi Street Circuit. This is round number three in this uh, 2020 career mode that I've got going on on the channel. In the first two races we had, I think it was like a 16th or 15th in Melbourne. It absolutely pissed it down in, in Melbourne in round number one. Then round number two, Bahrain. It was looking like I was actually going to get a top 10, but unfortunately clipped the back of Alexander Albon in the Red Bull and ended up finishing like 12th. So really sucked because Bahrain, I felt like we had a really good uh, car. I am driving the Alpha Tauri this season just to start out with and yeah i was really really uh confident that we we're actually going to get some points but anyway 50 percent race distance as per usual it's what i run in all my races on all my videos the difficulty itself is set to 100 so i didn't go all out and set it to 110 i find the uh, ai get a little bit too op in that regard when i do that the damage I've got set to simulation, so we can't hit anything because, as I've noticed in the first two rounds, if you touch something with that sort of damage setting, you will actually get some damage, unlike past F1 titles. Before F1 2020, I hadn't actually played an F1 game by Codemasters since F1 2017, so, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Uh, this is all looking so cool. I, I am absolutely loving F1 2020. The, the atmosphere and the immersion of how you actually feel like you are driving in an F1 championship. It feels sort of more, of a, more than a game now uh, than what it used to. But throughout qualifying, I in practice, I actually don't have as much pace as I would say I had in Bahrain. The actual qualifying didn't go too well, as you're about to see. Um, it absolutely pissed it down, So I and I had a very much dry setup. I've just got a setup off of the Steam Workshop. But yeah, I'm confident in the dry, but not too confident in the rain. But I think it's going to stay dry. Hopefully it stays dry. As you can see, starting off of dead last. So strategy-wise, looks like we're going to make two stops. Going to go two uh, stints on the soft tyre, then one on the medium. And yeah, away we go on the formation lap. Now, in my opinion, this track in real life, and you'll, I guess you'll get to see what it looks like here in a sec, but just up going through sort of practice and qualifying, I don't feel like this would have been the best track to watch racing, sort of like uh, Singapore and Sochi, because I basically feel like it's a bit of in between both of those, just the the way the tracks configured, the street circuit and the curbs, that's all, all those sort of aspects thrown together, uh, thrown together. Just yeah, it, it would have been awesome to see cars go around this track because it is a very sort of cool track to watch an F1. Or well, would have been a cool track to see an F1 car go around, but race wise, uh, racing wise, yeah, I don't think so. There's just too many long sort of strenuous corners where the aero wash would have just ruined everything. But anyway. Warm up these Pirellis. But there are two really, really long sort of flat out sections where we can hopefully make some passes. Aero wash isn't as bad as what it is in real life on F1 2020, so we should be able to get some stuff done in the draft or tow, depends on whatever you call it. Depends on where you come from, I suppose. Alrighty, here we go. Vietnam Grand Prix on F1 2020. Lights out, reaction time wasn't very good, but I guess I didn't get much wheel spin. Alright, first corner is really, really tight left hander. Let's just let's see if we can sneak around the outside. Okay. AI go really, really slow on that one. I don't know why, but they all just seem to check up like crazy. Alright, turn two, long right hander tightens up on itself, and you got single file through this left right onto the first real straight. Got a couple there, that was a decent start. Alright. Launch one up the inside. Big move. Now I call this the roundabout corner because it just uh, just goes round and round and round and round and round before you eventually get onto the straight that is the fastest part of the track. <laughs> That's tight. Alright, so let's see what sort of speed we can get. This it's not a straight, but it is a long time full throttle. Oh my god, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Oh, shit! Tightest corner on the track. Let's try not to take out our teammate. Don't be aggressive on 
lap number one. All right now, this section is nuts. It's just right, left, right, left, right, left. Would have been awesome to see F1 cars go through here in real life. Just trying to feel out the grip levels right now. Oh, too much curve. Just come from a wet qualifying session, so got all this grip all of a sudden. Okay, well, we gained five spots on the first laps. Good start. Let's see if we can just keep going forward. She got a Ferrari two up from us. Ferraris are not doing too good this year. Try and get as many as we can before the field starts to really pan out. Slightly abusing that overtake button, but <laughs> got to use it early on. Uh, grow some balls, Joseph. Thought about it. The problem is going too deep. I didn't want to take out the Ferrari in front of him. Goal is just not to have any damage on the front wing. Damaged my front wing twice in the first two races. I had to pit to get it fixed, which has basically cost us the race. Not the race, but a decent finish in the race. Alright, so we should be getting DRS this lap. There it is. Air wash. Nasty. Damn, he got a two. That should have saved my overtake. Uh, why did I close the arrest? <laughs> I'm still getting used to the uh, to the errors. Again, as I said before the race, first time playing a F1 game since F1 2017 when you didn't really have it back then. Oh man, I'm sweating. It is getting hot in here. Oh, we've got it. Here we go. Come on. Go, you good thing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just about avoided the rear end of uh, the Norris. Jam. That would not have gone well. Lando Norris. Boy, have I got some stories about him. Raced him quite a bit in carts. I never forget this one time. Again, one and only story, I promise. But I was coming out the pit lane in qualifying at this European karting championship in Germany. A track called Wackersdorf. Um... And Lando Norris at the time would have been four foot nothing, just barely four foot. He was so small. And uh, he comes out the pits right in front of me on a qualifying lap, in like this sort of section that was, you know, you couldn't really pass. And he just sat like right in front of me, and I was absolutely gutted because I remember to this day the lap was just awesome. The whole first sector was so good. Anyway, so I decided, well, instead of trying to pass him, I'm just going to let him know what I feel about his. Uh, his lack of awareness and so I <laughs> I just gave him this almighty push down the straight and he hadn't quite got up to speed yet so this push was <laughs> just massive and this poor kid he was so small such little neck muscles his head went so far back it almost hit the exhaust on the car and I'll never forget it to this day just watching this poor kid's head just go flying back and immediately after I you know gave him this <laughs> mini shunt I was like oh Okay, but that was a bit, <laughs> bit of an overkill there, Joseph. <laughs> Probably didn't deserve that, but uh, it's funny. And now look at him. He's in Formula 1. That little tiny kid in karting has gone all the way. And to be fair, he, he was very good in cards, I must admit. You know, it was one of the few drivers that I raced and was like, yeah, no, he could. He actually genuinely has the natural talent to go all the way, but 
Anyway, I'm just sitting here conserving my tyres. I'll probably try and use this first pit stop to um to really undercut some of the guys in front of me. Lap five, so I'm gonna be pitting here soon. We're up to 14th, so we're not too far away from the points. Um. Oh, here we go. This is gonna get real squirmy if we go three wide. Oh jeez, just about to say, <laughs> kept my front wing there, come on, one of these, sort it out lads, you holding me up, oh, I have nowhere to go, oh, oh Jesus man, Where? oh my god, around the outside, Oh shit, we got the we got the McLaren. This is insane racing. Just thought about it into there not quite close enough. Send what up the inside into turn one. Yeah, boy. Yeah, front grip. Jeez, man. Struggling. Alright, first stop. Here we go. Start to slow up towards the end of that stint. I don't know why, but we'll chuck another set of softs on here and hopefully get back out there and do something. I'm just a bit worried we're going to come out of traffic here, but we'll see. We'll soon see. Get out. Go. 2.6, not bad, not bad. Hold me up. Ah! Stupid prick. 
Joseph. I passed him when I had the chance. Ah, I lost so much time there, it was ridiculous. Oops, totally got my braking mixed up there. Oh, gained it. A lot of time on stroll, but could have been well ahead of him if he hadn't been freaking held up by that stupid Williams. There's really no point using overtake, I should have saved it for the... I can't pass into here. Next four seconds away. I don't know what his pace is like, though. I haven't really been looking that far ahead. All right, final stop. Good entry. Running in ninth. So, can I pick up some points? We can just keep it here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, lads, let's make this a good one. Exit, exit now. Yeah, 3.0, that's slow, come on. That was good as well, almost half a second slower than the first one, so have a good out lap here. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Right in front of traffic as well, it's not gone well. Jeez, so much more grip than I was expecting. On straight line speed. Come on! Go away! Same shit as what happened with the frickin' Williams. Oh, it's gone in the pits. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, well this has not been a good outlap at all. So we've lost quite a bit of time there, unfortunately, but it is what it is. 5.0 seconds. The 
good news is I'm catching the McLaren in front. The bad news is the McLaren behind me is catching me. <laughs> Depends which on <laughs> which one happens first. Five laps of fuel remaining. Just starting to lose this medium tire. I did go on it a little bit earlier than the AI. She's getting a bit slippery. But signs according to my engineer has an issue, so should be able to pass him. It's just whether we can keep Norris behind us. Uh -oh. I'm not going to use any overtake this lap, just save it all for the next one. So we're not close enough to DRS yet. Power from the engine is going to be down slightly, it's showing some minor wear. Oh, shiza. I do think I'm over revving this engine a little bit at times. She's signs to start to pull away from me again. I don't know how that's happened. So whatever issue we had is rectified. <laughs> Rich for half a lap, I suppose. Be aware, we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Close enough.
Uh, two laps to go. It's now or never. Come on. DRS zone. Not close enough. Damn it. Around the last corner, we're going to get a point. So finally, we have a points finish. We finished 12th in Bahrain, 10th here. So we're making improvements. We're going forward. Just, yeah, didn't quite have the same pace here as what I did last time out. But 20th to 10th in Formula 1 terms, that's pretty decent. I'll take that. I mean, the car definitely struggling for front-end grip, even when I made that downforce change in the uh, first pit stop. Still didn't really give me much in terms of downforce, but... Still, definitely, the pit stops I reckon really screwed us over. The the first pit stop coming out in traffic, uh, then the second pit stop, really I lost a good two seconds just in the lane and then also on the outlap. I reckon we could have been right up behind Ocon and maybe got a, got an eighth um, and a couple more points. But Anyway, here's what it is. We'll move on to the next one. Uh, I'm not sure what the next one is. I'm not going to do every single race in the actual career mode this season. I'm just 
straight up do not have the time to do 22 or whatever it is uh, Grand Prix. So I'll be doing a select few of which I really want to do this one because it is the Hanoi circuit. And I must admit, this track, I'll say it once to say it again, would have been awesome to see F1 cars go around here. I mean, I had some awesome races today. I don't think the racing would have been like that in real life just because of the fact that, you know, the aero wash is nowhere near as bad or turbulent air is nowhere near as bad on the game. But still, watching... Uh, it would have been so cool and hopefully next year we can have a vietnam grand prix on this circuit but anyway let's head let's see how the through the results so our championship leader is still 10th valtteri bottas one hamilton second seven third now, oh, man i tell you what these these races are really taking it out of me it is hot in here man hey i got driver of the day I suppose we did make 10 spots up. Um, it's time to check out the constructors' standings. The current championship leaders. So one DNF. We, we finished five points, uh, five places ahead of Gasly. Let's have a look at standings. Yeah, still all the way down in 15th on one point. Um, nine points by our teammate, but they had a top five in the last race, so that makes sense. But. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more F1 2020 content throughout the year, definitely loving this game this year, this is absolutely awesome, I'm so glad I put this on my schedule to sort of post videos on the channel for uh, throughout this lockdown, but yeah, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.